Last couple of days, I have been working on manipulating an object on screen. So I have created a cube which can be modified using gestures. So that way Maya understands what I like to do with the object on screen. This will help me with gesture based interactions with Maya. But I want to show you guys the examples that I've just created. Just one example though, but I would like you guys to look at it and see how fun it is. So guys, you can see I'm using my phone camera and my web camera. You can see them as my hand, are, hand is moving, you can see the object is also moving. So this is basically the Maya protocol. What I want to do first is I'll just show you what I have in my UI. So over here, you can see that I have the stasis, sorry, the stasis, the hover, the anchor, the precision and loom and scale. So essentially what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to manipulate this cube on screen. So when I use both my hands, it will expand and I can move it around. You can, I can see, I can flip it around. I can move it around. I can even hover with the object and I can dance around with it. So this is basically the logic that I want to give Maya that, Hey, I want to be able to manipulate this object on screen and look at this. I can drag it with fist. I can move it around. I can even open the entire cube. And the way I move my cube, <laughs> I, I still need to optimize it a little bit, but you can see it's, it's so wonderful. I can manipulate an object like this. The use case that I'm looking at is I can give this object to Maya and tell her, Hey, can you help me understand when I'm looking at this object and I'm manipulating this, what are the settings we can implement in place? So that way I can give Maya a pure gesture based interaction and she can learn my uh, gestures, kind of like a security thing, you know, like, uh, I wouldn't say dancing in front of a security protocol and then she recognizes how, okay, this is the person doing this. This is the right gesture and all of that. But this inspiration came in because I was playing Dungeons and Dragons and then, you know, we do a lot of puzzles there. So I was like, Hey, what if we give it, what if I give Maya a Tesseract, you know, and then I manipulate the object on screen and, you know, move her around and you can see all of this that's happening. Beautiful, right? So this is the experimental uh, part that I just want to show you guys. There is still so much to do uh, with respect to, uh, you know, object manipulation that's happening right here and all of that. You can even see how beautiful this is. <laughs> right. So on the right hand side, you can see that I have these uh, stuff put up. I have the LCD, uh, I have the Arduino board and the joystick controller as well. So I'm trying to bring in some security functionality so that Maya gets activated only when I perform certain things. This is to give her the option of interacting with me, even in an offline setup. So that way. My code is more perfect. This is amazing, guys. Yeah. I will add in more gestures. Probably in a couple of following videos, I'll show you what all I can do with this, you know. So, yeah. pretty much wonderful, right?